Hi guys, in one of my previous videos, I gave an introduction as to what Power BI is all about. So you must have downloaded Power BI desktop by now. So today our target is to connect Power BI to two different data sources, refine that data, convert it into a data model and create a pretty decent dashboard just to know the overall process as to how a dashboard is created in Power BI desktop. So let me show you the two tables or the two data sources. So this is the first table, which is a master table, which has lookup values. This is the second table, which is a detailed table. And this is the dashboard we are going to create, which is very simple because our target is not DAX calculation or Power Query, but our target is to know Power BI and its utilities. So let us start the exercise. Hi guys, I'm Salim Heather from SHK Excel World. So let us start today's exercise. Just open a new Power BI file. Since we do not need to sign in or publish our report, we just cross this. For connecting to data sources, the process is same just like in Excel. In Power BI, there is also an option in the home ribbon. In external data group, the first option is get data. Click get data. The first option is Excel. So these are the two files. You can download these files from the link given below in the description and follow along. So one file is the master file and the other one is the details file, which I showed you at the start. The first file which I am going to connect is the master file. Just click this and open it. So this workbook has only one sheet, which is named level. So this is the form in which it is available at the moment. So we want to refine this, just click edit. So once you click edit, it is going to take you into Power Query Editor, which is the same Power Query Editor as is available in Microsoft Excel. So Power Query creates some steps on its own. These are the four steps it has created. The first one is the source and the navigation. But the next two steps, I do not want. So just delete those. I want to remove the first six rows. So there is an option in the home ribbon in reduce rows group, remove rows and remove top rows, mention six and press OK. So the first six rows have been deleted. For my final table, I just need two columns. One is the code one, which is one, two, three, four, five. And the next one is the column that contains the names of these codes. I do not want rest, rest of the columns. So one way of deleting the columns is by selecting all with the help of control key and pressing delete. But there is a smart option in Power Query whereby I can select the columns I needed, right click on any of them, and there is an option to remove other columns. So in just one go, it has deleted all the unwanted columns. The next step is to use the first row as column headers. So there is an option in Home Ribbon in Transform Group to use first row as header. The first column should be named as Code. The final thing is to define the data type for each column. For code, it is correctly defined as a whole number. And for title, it has been defined as a text. So our first table is final. We can close and load this to Power BI and again connect to a new data source. That is our second workbook. But we can directly connect to the second data source from the Power Query editor. Again, click the new source. Click Excel and we have the second table available, which is details. Open this. So there is also one sheet in this. Check the checkbox. And since we are already in the Power Query editor, you may not be able to see load or edit button because pressing OK means we want to edit this. We are going to refine this as well in the same steps. First, we need to remove the first eight rows, remove rows remove top rows, top eight rows and press OK. There is an unwanted last row as well. So we are going to remove row, remove bottom rows and mention one. So the next step is to use the first row as headers. So again, go to the home ribbon and use first row as headers in the transform group. Now we just need to delete the unwanted columns. So we can do this by selecting all the columns with the help of control key. Press delete. I also do not want the first four value columns. 
just select these and press the delete button. You can see in the value column, the data type defined, I'm going to change this to the whole number and same for the credit one, whole number. Uh, just rename the first debit as debit and the credit as credit. I do not want to play with two value columns. I will have to merge both of these into a single column. So I'm going to add another column. So there is an option in Power Query Editor to add a column. Click custom column and the first one is the name. I will name this as net value and in the formula just double click the debit plus double click the credit and press OK. Just change the data type to whole number because if it is numeric text or only text, no calculations can be performed on it. So let us see our queries. So the names are not understandable. So I'm going to change the name. The level sheet is actually the master sheet and the sheet one is the details one. So now we can easily know which table is which one. We can go to home ribbon and close and load this to the Power BI. It is going to import all of those tables into Power BI. So in this tables tab, we can see both of our tables are available with all the changes we have done in Power Query. One thing you must have noticed is that the master table has a code which contains one, two, three, four, five, but the details table does not have such code. So we cannot link both of these tables in our uh, data model. So we will have to create an additional column by using this account code. You can see that the first digit in all of these codes is actually the code that is available in master table. So how to extract first digit in account code into a separate column. So it's very simple in Power Query. Just select the account code column in Power Query. Click add column and in from text group, there is an option extract. So extract first characters. So just mention that you want the first one character to be extracted and press OK. So in this way, we have created an additional column which contains the key. Just rename this as code and also change the type to whole number. Now our transformation is complete. Close and apply. So our tables are complete. The next step is to create the data model. Go to the data model tab. And since we have named columns in both the tables as the same, as code. So Power BI was intelligent enough to identify the relationship between the two. Our data model is also final. Let us create some visualization. For the first one, I'm going to use a donut chart. So let us make this a little bigger and place some fields. So here you can see the list of tables and this is a visualization and this contains the settings for visualization for any visual which you have selected. For legend, I'm going to use the title. And for values, I'm going to use the net value column, which we created in Power Query. So in this way, we have created one visual. We can copy this visual and paste it. So we can just click any other visual and the form will change with the exactly same fields. So this was our first step to create our very first dashboard in Power BI. Hope this was very simple and easy for you to understand. Stay tuned for my next videos on Power BI. As in those videos, we are going to focus on DAX calculations and specifically on time intelligence functions. Do subscribe to my channel SHK Excel World and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.